here the explanation on the is as requested so <coughs> we have the general outlook of the diagram that you have sent uh, in as far as the uh, the flat loaf is uh, concerned so this is the flat loaf meaning that um, uh, when we are saying something is a flat loaf or maybe the type of roof of a house is a flat loaf it is the one that has got uh, a pitch less than 10 degrees uh, that is uh, the sloping is uh, less than 10 degrees that will be considered as the flat loaf so in this case we have this flat loaf and uh, then we have the features these are the uh, the roof joists as uh, so the roof joists and uh, we, we have the dimensions for the roof joists and this uh, wall that you see is the uh, block uh, concrete block uh, uh, um, um, leaf that is the internal leaf and also you have uh, the brickwork uh, leaf as it is and uh, uh, these lines that, that looks like a zigzag or the spring these are uh, the insulation it's a symbol for insulation so the cavity is insulated and also you have the roof which has been insulated as well so these dust, dust lines which you see they are lining up like this uh, uh, they are showing the hidden detail of um, of uh, the the roof joists as, as as it were, and these are the sprayed blocks uh, where the fascia board are, are nailed to, as we can also see on this part. And also we have these timber which are flashed to; they are just nailed below uh, the uh, the roof joists, but uh, flush. So they are forming flash to so that uh, whenever we are nailing our plywood fascia board, it could be plywood fascia board, it could be uh, timber fascia board, it could be um, a block board or any other um, uh, material that you may decide to use as the fascia board so that it covers uh, the ends of uh, these um, um, uh, roof joists. And if we are look at uh, if we are to look at uh, the uh, the uh, the configuration of uh, uh, the, the the flat loops. So normally you have two configuration of the flat loop. It's either you choose the cold loop or maybe the warm loop. So the warm loop in most cases has uh, the uh, insulation which is very closer to uh, the, the 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 roof covering. Like as it is in this case, we have uh, the insulation is very close to. Uh, the roof covering so the internal part of uh, this roof that is the roof is uh, the, the, the space above uh, the ceiling so uh, this part above the ceiling is warm in this case because it has been fully insulated and uh, this touch line is uh, the wall plate which was uh, the uh, the roof joist in this case and also this is uh, insulated and um, for the warm roof, as, as, as we can see, we do not have any ventilation. We may not need the ventilation because there could be um, uh, no any likelihood of uh, su surface condensation occurring in the roof because it's well above the dew point where the condensation may uh, likely occur. So this is uh, our fissure board. And on the, hand, on, on the other hand, this is uh, uh, how we can detail the cord loof. It is the cord loof because uh, the position of the insulation here is very close to the uh, ceiling. This is the internal part of the room and uh, that's the ceiling. So the insulation is just above the ceiling as opposed to the one that we have area. So it means that the space above uh, this insulation is cord always. And since it is cord, it is therefore likely that uh, it may reach the dew point where you can have uh, the surface condensation occurring and now to prevent that surface condensation occurring we have to ventilate this space hence the ventilation provision for the uh, prevention of uh, the surface condensation in fact there are several ways of preventing surface condensation is either raising the temperature um, above the dew point then the surface condensation will not occur or reducing the humidity in the room then the surface condensation may not occur the other is uh, to ventilate the room that is uh, uh, the ventilation the fresh air will be taking off the uh, humid air outside the room and in that case then keeping uh, the humidity of the room always at a, a very low percentage and therefore the uh, the the surface condensation will not be occurring in this case so that's the explanation that uh, i can give and i believe uh, <coughs> the way i'm explaining and also maybe just to zoom in uh, the portions of uh, our uh, roof we have these members we have so this is um, 
uh, a board fixed to the wall head and so we have uh, the sprayed um, that's the sprayed blocking piece and uh, that's uh, the top because you, you don't just uh, cover uh, the top of uh, the wall with any roof covering materials they need to have you need to have in some base like in this case we have the uh, timber base that will cover uh, the roof and also you have uh, this is uh, the uh, the the roof joist and you can trim with a metal at the end so you have a metal trim or you can have other uh, kind of material that you would use uh, to trim or maybe to cover the end so um, there you have the metal trim and then in this diagram be below then you have the fissure board it's T and G but you can have plywood fissure board or T and G or just a solid timber um, uh, fissure board assuming you can have uh, a timber which would span from here up to that end and um, this is um, uh, the, the uh, this is uh, the wall this is the uh, roofing joist the one that has been shown in dashed line it shows that uh, this is a hidden detail as, as it were and these members are nailed to the surface of uh, uh, the uh, the wall so that they can carry uh, this uh, uh, fascia board so maybe roughly that's how I can explain uh, uh, something to do with uh, uh, the flat roof I believe uh, this has been um, uh, explained uh, thank you for your attention.